Alicia Bhatti was to sing in the town square that evening. Sir Topham Hatt had a very special job for James. Alicia Bhatti, the mayor, and the Sodor Brass Band to the concert. Yes, sir. It will be very dark tonight. You must have a lamp fitted. Yes, sir. James puffed happily to the steamworks. Hello, James, my friend. Your paintwork looks especially shiny. That made James very happy. That's because everyone must look their best for the concert tonight. Sorry, boss. Slip in the hook. James didn't like the lamp. This lamp will make me look silly. Everyone at the concert will look their best except me. The workman tried to fit the lamp to James's boiler. Then to his buffer. Then to his funnel. The workman had tried his best, but still James did not like his lamp. It makes me look silly. I will not wear that silly lamp. And James puffed huffily out of the steamworks to pick up the very important visitors. Later at the next junction, James met an engine. The engine was Thomas. The engine was Thomas. Thomas's lamp was shining brightly. Hello, James. Where's your lamp? Lamps just make engines look silly. Goodbye, Henry. I'm not Henry. I'm Thomas. The evening became darker, darker and darker. darker. Now James could see even, even less. Then Suddenly, there was trouble. There was a station, station ahead. ahead. This is where I pick up Alicia Bobby and, and the, the mayor, mayor, he said. But all aboard. But James hadn't picked up Alicia Bobby and, and the mayor. mayor. He had picked up Farmer Farm McCall and his prize cow. cow. James hadn't seen them on the platform. platform. It, it was, was too dark. dark. James could How hardly see, see anything. At the next junction, James met an engine. The engine was Edward. James met an engine. The engine was Edward. Edward had his lamp on. Hello, James. Where's your lamp? Lamps make engines look silly. <laughs> Goodbye, Percy. I'm not Percy. I'm Edward. The night was now very dark. This is where I pick up the Sodor Brass Band. But it wasn't the Sodor Brass Band. It was Farmer Trotter and his herd of prize pigs. All aboard! But James couldn't see them on the platform. James couldn't see anything. It was too dark. At last, James chuffed into the town hall square. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting. I am, sir. I have picked up all our very important visitors. James, what have you done? You have brought Farmer McCall and his cow, and Farmer Trotter and his pigs. I was expecting Alicia Botty and the mayor. James felt terrible. Lost my buffers. I thought a lamp made me look silly. Now I really look silly. I'm sorry, sir. This is all my fault. Sir Topham Hatt was cross. Please, sir, I will have my lamp fixed. Then, I will race like the wind to deliver Farmer McCall and Farmer Trotter to Brendam. Later, I will pick up the very important visitors. Just then, Thomas puffed in. He had 
with the workman with James's lamp in his cab. This time, James let the workman fit the lamp, and he didn't feel silly. Edward steamed in. Hello, James. Your lamp looks good. I know. Now I can see really well in the dark. But you are still late, James. James was worried. Then, an idea flew into his funnel. Sir, can Thomas and Edward pick up the visitors? And I will go to Brendam. That's a good idea, James. Then you must come straight back here. Yes, sir. So, James set off for Brendam Docks. His new lamp glowed brightly in the dark. James arrived at the docks just in time. pumped his pistons. He set off once more for the town hall. James chuffed happily along. Now, he could see everything in the dark. James liked having a lamp. I can see how beautiful Sodor looks at night. into the town square. Alicia Bati was singing sweetly. Then James gasped. There was another surprise. And Edward were using their strong lamps to light the concert. Please, sir, may I shine my lamp on Miss Bati? Then everyone will see her for miles around. Very well, James. didn't feel silly at all. He felt very, very important. And when Alicia Bati smiled at him, James couldn't have felt more proud of his bright, beaming lamp. <laughs> <laughs>